Joining me now are the two co-chairs of the new ABA Task Force for American Democracy, former federal judge J. Michael Ludig and former Homeland Security Secretary J. Johnson. Thank you both for joining us today. Mr. Secretary, talk to us about the goals of this task force. One of them is depoliticizing the administration of elections. Another is educating the public on the basics of how many branches of government there are. But you're dealing with all of these states, elected state secretaries of state, and seeing how things can be distorted. Um, how do you get past the politics of politics? First, Andrea, thanks for having us on. Uh, <clears throat> taking on this task uh, with Michael Luddick, Judge Michael Luddick as co-chair, one of the heroes in my judgment of January 6th, uh, has been a real honor for me, and I consider it the capstone of my career in public service. Andrea, we know now that, in fact, our democracy is frail. Uh, we like to say we are the most enduring democracy in the world and that we always have peaceful transfers of power. We now know that's not true. And there are those in public life today who would like to push us to the breaking point. Uh, I'm pleased to be part of this effort. We've recruited an, an extraordinary uh, assemblage of distinguished Americans to take part in this task force, not just lawyers, retired judges like Judge Ludig, uh, law school deans, uh, election law experts, Republican and Democrat, former presidential candidates like Carly Fiorina and Dick Gephardt, uh, Sherilyn Eiffel, former NAACP Legal Defense Fund director, Mark Morial, director of the National Urban League, but also conservative commentators like Bill Kristol. And over the next year, we'll be engaging in a listening tour uh, going around the country. We'll also be making recommendations and issuing a report about a year from now to the, to the ABA. And uh, everything will be on the table from uh, the, the manner in which uh, cybersecurity, social media, conventional media contribute to or detract from our democracy the protection of election workers on the ground in places like Georgia and Michigan and, and Arizona, but also the, the very manner in which we elect candidates to federal office. It's a, it's a big task uh, that we'll take, undertake over the next year, but uh, I'm pleased to undertake this with Judge Ludig. Uh, Judge Ludig, Ludig uh, you can see that Donald Trump now is the overwhelming favorite for the Republican nomination. And the most recent poll, the Siena New York Times poll, had the polling at 43-43 if it's Donald Trump versus Joe Biden. The nation is so divided. Do you still feel that his election would be a clear and danger, uh, and present danger, and that he would try to overturn an election if he lost it? Uh, thank you, Andrea, for having uh, Secretary Johnson and me on this morning. Uh, the American democracy uh, is the most important issue uh, facing the country between now and 2025. And of course, the 2024 election is an uh, integral part of, 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 that, uh, of that future history of America. Lawyers actually are uniquely qualified and uniquely positioned uh, to uh, support and defend uh, our democracy and our constitution and our rule of law. Uh, lawyers take a pledge and an oath, actually, to support and defend the Constitution of the United States against all enemies, foreign, but also domestic, if not especially domestic. So uh, th this task force that's been established by the American Bar Association under the leadership of its new, uh, newly elected president, Mary Smith, uh, is, is a significant event uh, in, in, in the, the history of the country. And uh, uh, it's an honor for me, and as it is for uh, Secretary Johnson, uh, to co-chair this task force. The, the task force, uh, Andrea, is perhaps the, uh, the, the most distinguished 
uh, task force or committee uh, that I'm familiar with in, in my uh, uh, lifetime in, in uh, Washington, D.C. Uh, it, it's comprised of uh, national leaders uh, and national leaders who uh, are eloquent and articulate uh, about American democracy and, and the threats to American democracy. And uh, for the past two years, almost every single one of these uh, task force members have been uh, leading the nation uh, on this critical issue of facing the country now. So uh, thank you for having us with you. Secretary Johnson, do you still believe that there is a real threat right now in our electoral system to the survival of democracy in America? Yes, I do, Andrea. Uh, you look at the larger picture, an alarmingly large percentage of Americans believe that the 2020 election was stolen, contrary to all available evidence and court rulings. There's also a very large percentage of Americans, according to polls, that believe perhaps we should try something else other than democracy. And there are some who apparently would be willing to resort to violence if the candidate they support is not elected. Uh, and we saw that spill over on, on January 6th. So an important part of this task force effort is going to be to remind Americans that their vote counts, their vote matters, their vote is important, and their vote is the essence of democracy. And democracy is the root of everything else we enjoy in this country, frankly. Well, I want to thank both of you. Uh, former Homeland Security Secretary Jay Johnson, retired federal judge Michael Ludig, thanks both of you for taking on an enormous task.